I got a lot of respect for Jeffrey. I've got a lot of love for his products. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney if you're new here and welcome. So today I'm really really excited because I bought something that as soon as I heard this collab was dropping I knew I had to get something um, and it just so happened the day that it dropped was a day that I was going through a bit of a uh, day. <laughs> so I used it as an excuse to be like yeah I definitely need this. I need to pick me up and it definitely done that because it only came like three days, two, two days later I think it was. But I'm gonna not mumble jumble too much at the beginning and I'm just gonna show you the thing that I bought and that we're gonna do a bit of a first impressions review kind of look with it today. And without further ado, it is da -da -da -da, the Jeffree Star and Morphe collaboration. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Yes. I bought the entire set other than, I'm gutted, other than the little sponges, the beauty blenders, I bought the brush set from the Morphe Jeffree Star collaboration. Now I heard about two years ago, he showed on his channel brushes and I was quite excited about that, but nothing happened, just went quiet and then all of a sudden, bam, on the 5th of February, this beauty dropped. And I'm so excited because everything's sold out now. And I, I kind of went straight in there. And I was gonna just buy like one of the brushes, maybe a couple of them, but I'm sorry, they all looked amazing. And I, I was like, I'm justifying this. I took some of my savings, I put it into my bank, and I got this set. So the whole brush set is, retails at 48 pound. And the sponges were 16 pound, which as soon as they come back, which I hope they come back, I'm getting. It did come in a plastic bag, but I kind of messed up the first time trying to show it. So I took the bag off and it has this beautiful pink Jeffree Star aesthetic unicorn type thing. And as you can see, you can see Jeffrey's eyes there. And I believe Lipstick Nick done this look on him. She does a lot of his looks. She's an amazing artist as well. But don't quote me, because I do not want to get in trouble if she did not do that. It is stunning though. It is stunning. Do so you get a nice pink bag as well? And it says Morphe X Jeffrey Star, so collaboration. And then as you open it up, which we love that. Lots of room. The brushes are in one plastic thing and they are all individually wrapped as well so for 48 pound you get one two three four five six seven brushes which is really good because i believe the most expensive one which is the js Two, JS2. Sorry, I keep looking at my computer because I wanted to pull it up to make sure I get this right. Most expensive one was £19, which is this one, which is a precision book. I cannot speak today. Precision brush. So the first brush you have is the Crease Queen brush, which is JS5. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's soft. That's like really soft. I like that. So this is natural bristles. I was gonna go through each brush and just say what it is, but I don't wanna have a massively long video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set these all out and I'm gonna start a look and I'll say what I'm using with each brush. The bigger ones seem to be synthetic, whereas the eye ones are natural. Right, so let's get straight to it. I do not use a lot of foundation. I find that it completely messes up my skin. And I've always had quite decent skin. When I started wearing foundation quite a bit, it just got too much for my face. So what I use now is a BB cream, but it covers quite well, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna clip my hair back. So that gets out of the way. And we're gonna start by using the JS1 Size Queen brush, which I'm used to using um, beauty blenders, so I'm quite excited to try this, and it feels really nice. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, some of my beauty cream, 
by the way, I use light. Oh, that's weird. It's a new one. I use Garnier Garnier BB cream, um, anti-aging, because you know. Ooh. See how that goes in. Wow. I've not used brushes for my face. It's probably like a bit of a cop out for me because I'm not wearing foundation. Let's see just how good this is, but I know with this BB cream, because it is tinted, it can look quite patchy if it's not placed right. So far I'm really liking the feel. It does not feel itchy when it goes around my skin. Next we have the JS3, which is this nice contour brush. And I usually use just bronzer to cut down my cheekbones, because as you can see, I got very high cheekbones. <laughs> And I've always had problems with different contours. I just found that brown bronzer works better with me, so it's like two and one for me. So I'm just gonna cut those cheeks. Okay. Whoa. I think I put too much on my brush for one thing. Yeah. I'll definitely cut my cheek. <laughs> I do do my jaw quite a bit because I've got quite an oval face, I guess you can say. And with high cheekbones and an oval face, it's a bit, bit much. <laughs> and with a bit of a big forehead. So let's try to darken out those areas. Holy crap. That's good. That's quite good. I am no makeup artist, I'm telling you right now. I'm no Jeffree Star, I'm no Lipstick Nick, I am no Tati, I am no... <laughs> Shit, so many beauty gurus I watch. <laughs> no disrespect to them. I'm gonna use the JS2, which is the precision bar, which is the precision, eh, I can't say that word, precision brush. <laughs> and I'm going to put some blush on. And I am... <laughs> I don't use a lot of brush. Blah, eh, blush. I was given this cute little set from Benefit from a really good friend of mine, and they have the Rocketeur <laughs> blush in it, which I've absolutely loved. So I'm going to use that from the set. Do you know what I've done? I'm an idiot, Jay. It's because I now have to go to sleep after this and go to work. <laughs> I forgot to do my concealer. Right, now that we've put a bit of a base down, let's do eyebrows. Now, I'm not good with eyebrows. I've always said that. I've only just started filling in. And to be honest, they do need to be done again. <laughs> a bit of a... I'm going to use the JS7. And it comes with a little spoolie. Just brush my brows like that. I am trying to get them thick. It is taking ages. I am a 90s girl, so over plucked eyebrows were in back then. And it's not so much now, and I'm paying for it. All right, so I have just a Primark eyebrow thing, and I'm gonna use the edge side. And it's very thin. Which, looking at my other one, is not that thin. I'm just gonna use the powder a bit. Oh, I wish I could cut a beep <laughs> with my eyebrows. I'm not, I can't, I wouldn't hurt anyone. But I wish I looked like it. <laughs> I have to say, the precision side is really good. It's nice and small, and it really does what I need it to do instead of going crazy. Giving me strokes where I don't need them. I'm not even 30 yet. I don't need no crazy strokes. <laughs> if you're gonna read me for not doing my highlight yet, it's because I like to glow last. Right, next, I'm gonna use the KS6, which is the blender brush. And I am gonna use, because sadly I have no Jeffree Star palette, so I am gonna use the Morphe 35F. I'm gonna blend clothes so for a transition color I'm gonna use that one right there now I am gonna just stick to using two of the brushes which is probably what I shouldn't do but I just want to see how they work and how they blend 
and I'm liking how that blends. Again, it's very soft on the skin. These are natural bristles, and I like that. Ooh. I like it. Now let's see when we add some other colors, eh? Now I want to go for big purplies. Let's go for this one here first. Let's start light. Again, I'm using the same brush. And we're just gonna start on there. Circle motions and bring it in a bit. I'm really liking the blending of this brush. It's not too hard. It's really getting it to blend where I need it to. Now, I need to use this brush. So it's the JS5, which is a cut crease, and I'm gonna go, we're gonna use that one. Oh no, let's add this one first. So I'm gonna try with this brush, and just kinda swirl it in. It's really blending the colors really well. I'm gonna go back because I like to have that bit more control soft thing when I'm really going in. And I'm gonna go in with that little plummy color there. Same brush. Again, you shouldn't really mix. But hey, I'm just trying to get the feel with these brushes. Oh wow, I look old. Let's not do that. <laughs> Botox anyone? <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna go for there. Having the warmth of your finger just makes it a bit more, especially with shiny colors. Shiny shimmers. <laughs> I have to say, I do like how these blend. I, I think they blend amazingly. So I am going to put some eyeliner and mascara on off screen <laughs> and I will be right back. Right, so I have put some mascara on, I have put some eyeliner on, don't really like doing that because the faces. Um, I do not put lashes on and one of my goals this year is to use them more but after I had kids I just kind of gave up. So I am going to put a bit more eyeshadow on to see how it goes underneath. Again, I'm gonna use, I, I have to say, the JS6 has to be one of my favorite. I'm gonna put this gold, no, Yes, I'm gonna put that gold underneath my eyes. Okay, so I put a bit of gold underneath just to, for my favorite parts. I am gonna use the JS4, the highlighter brush or fly high brush, and I am going to go in. I am trying to think, I've got four. I'm not gonna do Princess, no. I'm not gonna do Regina George, which I like it, but I bought it for the fact that it is Mean Girls, but look, it is pretty. I just don't think it, my skin goes with it, but I would never part with it, ever. So either Peach Goddess, Princess Cut, or Ice Cold. I'm gonna go for Peach Goddess because it is one of my favorites, and I'm just gonna dip it in there. And circle it on my cheekbones. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hello. Hello. I'm flying high. Definitely flying high. Hello. Hello. I'm going out tonight. I'm going out tonight. No, I'm actually just going to work, but hey. I'm sorry, but Jeffree Star has, and I'm not just saying it because <laughs> I'm reviewing his brushes, I'm saying it because I honestly love his products and that's why I was so excited to buy these brushes and when I found out that he's coming out finally with this collab with Morphe, it's weird because I've been following Jeffree Star since MySpace days. I knew him as a scene kid. I didn't personally know him, I'll put it now. I knew someone that said they met him and I just wanted to know him myself. <laughs> that never happened. And then to see him literally years later building such an amazing empire 
while being so real in such an industry that's so fake it's i've got so much respect for him it's unbelievable and his products are killer absolute killer you cannot hide i've got no fancy equipment no fancy equipment but that highlighter come on yeah i just i got a lot of respect for jeffrey i've got a lot of love for his products <laughs> so far i'm loving these brushes i really really am they've done amazing and for the price 48 quid for seven brushes seven brushes you can't really get that and i'm just gonna add a bit in there and of course a bit there because if we're gonna glow we're gonna glow we gotta glow high i keep adding more because i'm just like can i glow anymore can i no finally to pick which lip i'm gonna go with a bold lip and I'm going to use, of course, Jeffree Star. And I'm going to use No Tea, No Shade. I'll put this on and I'll be right back. Right, guys, I have put on the lipstick. I have spritzed a little bit. Of, and I am going to put down some earrings just to, you know, put it on. And my final thoughts. My eyeshadows really blended really, really well. I don't, like I said, I don't wear foundation so it might have been a cop out but i used it for my bb cream and i think oh, that highlight that highlights between the whole ah where's it between the actual highlight and the brush it was amazing i couldn't stop putting on but as you've seen just the one application made it go i like them they're soft they have not come out what will happen when i clean them i don't know they are really soft. I really like them. They are not too heavy, but they don't feel cheap at all. Although the price, again, is only 48 pounds. For seven brushes, I cannot. I can't. You get a lot for your money. You do. And you get amazing quality for your money. And just look at them. Just look how pretty. I like it. So I, I'm gonna say I really, really enjoyed these brushes. <laughs> I enjoyed putting a look together for it. I enjoyed playing around with it, see how an entire brush collection feels and works together. If anything, maybe because of the fact that I didn't use any setting powder, um, the precision brush, I couldn't really test out as much as I would have liked to. So there we go. We've got the Jeffree Star and Morphe brushes. I'm really pleased with them. I'm really pleased with how my look came out and I'm ready to go to bed now. I wish I was going somewhere more exciting than work tonight. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscription button down below and ring the bell so you don't ever miss any one of my videos. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. I had a lot of fun playing around with these. So yeah, until next time, have a good one.